I just saw this tweet from OpenAI that they are releasing a text-to-video model called Sora or Sora. It's an AI model that can create realistic and imaginative scenes from text instructions. All videos on this page were generated directly by Sora without modification. And the results look amazing. So if we scroll down here now, uh, you can see introducing Sora text-to-video model. Sora can generate videos up to one minute long while maintaining visual quality and, and adherence to the user's prompt one minute long if we think about um runway ml and stuff they can do four seconds so that's a huge jump so let's start by looking at the first video here a stylish woman walks down the tokyo street right okay and let's start this over and just wow <laughs> that looks insane right and look at that quality and look at that lighting oh my god so this feels like a huge step in text to video, right? Let's look at some other ones. There are loads of examples here. So if we go to this one, let's blow it up here. Wow. Ooh, that looks amazing. So let's check out this one. It looks like a video. It's insane. And this is like with any, without any modification. If that is true, that is just... Yeah, this is gonna be like a game changer if this holds up right to the, what we can see here. Wow. Okay, so let's take a look at some other examples. It's amazing. It looks so real. It looks like a drone footage. And here are some anima animations. Ooh. Yeah, it's... It's not comparable to what I have seen before in text to video. I can say that much. So here we got this format. So this is kind of a short format, I think. A peacock or something. A bird. And if you scroll down here, so today Sora will become available to red teamers to assess critical areas for harms or risk. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, access to a number of visual artists. Uh, we're sharing our research project early to start working. Yeah, so there's no like timeline on this, I think, but I thought this one looked amazing. So historical footage of California during the gold rush. It kind of nails the aesthetic, right? You get this western old feeling. It's kind of grainy, but we are actually using like a flyby drone here. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm super impressed. Extreme close-up of 24-year-old woman eye blinking, standing in Marrakesh during... Wow, the details are just... Wow. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't see this coming, to be honest. I was quite shocked when I saw this. Up to one minute, and I saw this one. This was pretty cool. You can kind of see that it's something, but it's really hard to tell, right? Yeah, I can see his eyes there, but wow. And this one, so the camera follows behind a vintage sub with a black roof, speeds up dirt road. So this kind of caught my attention. I thought this looked amazing. Like kind of the animation behind the truck here, or like the dust. And like the camera shake. <laughs> it looks kind of scary realistic. Wow, this is just... So I was a bit like hesitant. Text to video, like four second clips. Doesn't look too good, there's a lot of work, right? But when I saw this now, I thought, wow, this could open up like... This is just a different level, right? Wow. So I thought this one, reflections in the window of a train traveling through the Tokyo suburbs. So here you can kind of see all the details. These are really hard, right? So we kind of see the person filming and we see the reflections and we kind of see the backdrop with the city. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have any kind of words for this. This is just kind of keeping me... <laughs> uh, a drone camera circles around beautiful historical church. I don't really know what to say, like... Other than that, I'm super excited. So, seems like OpenAI is stepping up again, right? But of course, we have to try it out. It's easy to get blinded by good demos, like... Uh, when we saw this uh, Pika and stuff coming out, but like... It wasn't really... When I tried it, it wasn't kind of like the demo, so of course we get, have to get hands on this. This could be cherry-picked, right? We don't really know, but uh, it says it's without any modification, but uh, yeah. Ooh, 
Look at the bright colors here. Looks amazing. Wow, that is just insane. Ooh, I got really excited to try this now. <laughs> I, I bet you can tell. The story of a robot's life in a cyberpunk setting. Nice. Yeah, you can see some weird animations behind here, but it looks very cool. I like the camera angles. Wow. Extreme close-up of a gray-haired man with a beard in his 60s. Yes. The details in the beard are insane. Step, print, step printing scene of a person running shot in a 35mm camera. <laughs> Yeah, this looks great. Five gay wolf puppies flockery and chasing each other around. Insane. Archaeologists discover a genetic plastic chair in the desert, excavating and dusting it with great care. That looked a bit strange. <laughs> ah, that's crazy. Look at the people animations here, it's just insane, right? So let's take a quick look at the research techniques here. So Sora is a diffusion model, yeah, we kind of knew that. It's capable of generating entire videos uh, all at once, or extending generated videos by making them longer. Uh, by giving the model foresight uh, of many frames at a time, we solved a challenging problem of making sure the subject stays, in the sa stays the same, even with that goes, yeah. That's so typical, like if you use stable diffusion video or something, the the object in the video kind of alters it kind of wraps the face around so that's really hard i haven't really seen anyone solve that problem to like big success similar to gpt models or uses transformer architecture and looking superior scaling performance okay we represent videos and images collections of smaller units data called patches even if it's akin to token in gpt okay Sora builds some past research in Dolly and GPT models. It uses uh, the same technique from Dolly 3, involves generating highly descriptive captions for visual uh, training data. Uh, as a result, the model's behaving follower uses text instructions, so it's kind of good to following prompts, okay? Uh, so, learn more in our technical paper coming later today. So, I'm gonna keep an eye out for that, because that's gonna be very important, right? So, my first impression is, wow, insane, right? Just look at this one. It looks amazing. 59 seconds. So yeah, very exciting. Thank you for tuning into this quick preview. Of course, we're going to follow up with this. Maybe we take a look at the technical paper. We will see. I guess other channels will cover that too. But I just wanted to give my first impression of this. So, looks very cool. Looking very forward to what's going to happen to text to video in 2024. So, subscribe if you want to follow along. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day.